Have you ever had a visitor show up and then stay longer than you'd like? That's the way I feel about this pandemic. It showed up without an invitation and now it refuses to go away. Two months have come and gone since my last communication. Illinois has moved from phase two of the Restore Illinois plan to phase four. The only real change affecting Central Christian Church is that we are now allowed to meet together physically in groups of 50 or less. Many of our small groups are now gathering together physically while continuing to observe social distancing. Many of you have asked if the leadership has discussed reopening, that is assembling on Sunday morning for worship. The answer to that question is yes. On more than one occasion, we seriously and prayerfully considered that possibility. Late in the month of May, the Winnebago County Health Department issued this six-page document, and the state of Illinois, this nine-page document, with special guidelines for places of worship during the pandemic. They basically say this, this guidance does not obligate or encourage places of worship to resume in-person activity. Indeed, it is strongly recommended that places of worship continue to facilitate remote services. Both documents do, however, give guidelines and recommendations for churches who do choose to expand or resume physical assembly. Those recommendations include wearing masks, distancing, no singing, one-way foot traffic patterns, one person in a restroom at a time, extensive cleaning, sanitizing, etc. Taking that all into account, the elders continue to intend to abide by the guidelines put forth by the state of Illinois Winnebago County and the city of Rockford to the best of our ability. For the present time, we believe it is best to continue primarily with online worship. That being said, we are planning a few special activities. Outdoors is considered the next best alternative to online gatherings. Therefore, one Sunday evening in August, we will hold an outdoor parking lot fellowship time. On Saturday, August 29th, the postponed God Always Provides or GAP food packing event in association with International Disaster and Emergency Services is scheduled to take place. This event will be indoors. However, we hope to make this happen while following all the appropriate precautions. Look for details about this event soon. Finally, we plan to hold an outdoor parking lot worship service on Sunday morning, September 13th. Details explaining each of these events will follow in other communications. We will continue to provide an online worship alternative for those who are uncomfortable being physically present during the outdoor worship on September 13th and when we do resume assembling for worship. I will say this again, we are in a health crisis, but not a faith crisis. We are still worshiping, still witnessing, still ministering in Jesus' name. We are still the church. Someone once said, a power outage is a good time to be selling flashlights. During these troubled times in which we find ourselves, let us hold forth the light of the world, the only real answer. May we be a light of hope and help in the hands and feet of Jesus to those around us. Lastly, let's continue to be determined not to allow this pandemic, our compliance with government orders, or the measures we take to safely reopen 
to be a source of division among us. We each have different opinions and viewpoints. We are affected in different ways and degrees by these times. The world all around us has plenty of division, incivility, and meanness. May the world know that we are Christians by the love we show for one another. Grace and peace to you all.